in a world where Mario baseball quarterfinals matchups are best of threes, this would have been over. But we're still here. And we got Colin versus Jason in this best of five series. The quarterfinals, Jason down 0-2 right now, the one seed in these playoffs. Colin in his inaugural playoff run trying to make a, uh, a statement here in the quarterfinals and take a 3-0 sweep over Jason. Yeah, absolutely. And he's on his way to making one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Dinger City. I am Crit Nick. And of course, to my right, your left. And my right here. It's Mr. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. Oh, um, what a hit! Yeah, great leadoff hit with Waluigi. This is uh, this is Jason at bat. He's the away team. Collins the home team with that bow bow. Leadoff Waluigi, something you don't really see ever. I don't hate it. No, it's I listen honestly. I for Jason, I think I enjoy it. And you know what? That's gonna be a quick second and third, first and third. Oh, he's you know, third. play it safe. That's fine. You know what? This is a run already. You can bunt this one in. But you know what? You've got Captain Birdo up. Uh -oh. Of course, you're looking for an egg opportunity with Petey right behind and you might you might be thinking these teams are a little weird a little wacky business going on so let me let me tell you the draft real quick hold on hold on hold on let me tell you the draft real quick Ooh, so tough. jason as the loser of the previous game got to select first or second or home or away whatever he's feeling and he mm -hmm. said i'm feeling first pick pd piranha right here big yep. guy and colin is thinking if he wants to walk or pitch uh after pd colin goes dk and bro no no bowser Jason says, okay, I'm going to go Birdo and Yoshi. Still no Bowser. Jason sucks with Bowser. He knows it. We know it. You know it. It's, it is how it is. Then Colin's like, I will gladly take my Bowser and KB as my 3-4. Right. That's great. That's really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen. Wall bad, hold on. Bad bunt here gets us a, because uh, uh, it's force at all bases, yeah. gets us an out. That's a foul ball. Lay one down foul. So now a foul out uh, is on the table. Let's see if Jason still lays down the bunt. He oh. kind of does. That is a tough way to go down. All right, Not go. being able to convert this inning would be tough. Let's see if the pink menace can tear one down the right field line. Yeah, wow. What was looking like such a strong start to an inning. Suddenly, here we are. Down one, two, three or four stars expended. And uh, no Collins. runs to speak of for it, man. Getting out of trouble. Collins got Jason swinging at a lot of stuff that Jason might not normally swing at, man. This is tough. He's on what it. looked like a really good leadoff inning with a man in scoring on zero outs became a no run scored inning. And honestly, I learned this a lot from watching net play and stuff. It's very logical to like be like, okay, of course I lay down the bunt when I have a guy on third and outs to give, but like, what if I could do more? Just take the run. You got to just take the run you most just, of the time. Yeah, lay like, down the bunt. Get your free run, essentially. You, give up, you trade a run for an out any single day of the week. You get 27 outs. You're not often scoring 27 runs. Absolutely. So, yeah, put them up. I'm going to I'm gonna do the rest of the draft real quick. Jason took Wallow and Madge after the Bowser KB 3-4. Four, uh, three, four. Then Colin went Boo Wario. Really late Boo there. Mm -hmm. Diddy Toadsworth for Jason. Mario Paratroopa for Colin. Luigi Pink Menace for Jason. And Dixie Kong to wrap it all up. Yeah. So weird draft, but that's kind of what happens once you get deep into a series. And this is game three, uh, the potential midway point, potential final game. We'll see what happens in this one. But nice pitching from Jason there. Walks Bowser, gets around the rest. We saw last game he pitched Absolutely. to Bowser, I think twice, and gave up two home runs. Or maybe he gave up <laughs> one home run and he got a, a fly out. Something like that. Either way, Bowser did hit a home run. Yeah. And, Classic uh, <laughs> Bowser stat. Yeah. You, I got pitched two twice. I hit two ding-dongs. Yeah. That's what I do. Definitely I'm not Bowser. what you want to be doing. I love when KB does that little catch on the corner base where it's like you didn't know, you're not sure if he caught it until it's in his gut. He does yeah. a little like whoop because he's not on the ground. He doesn't know. No. <laughs> yeah. How'd you even get that? Ooh. Oh, and that's going to be a great hit from Toadsworth leading off this inning. That's big. He's not, but like the first runner he's on like <laughs> base leading off this inning. About as did far it. as you can get. Yeah. Oh, nice hit from Walu. This, this is, is why what you he's like Jason's lead off, dude. You put guys who you are good at slapping singles with as your lead off, man. And Toadsworth nine to prep him for the uh, the triple threat here. Jason looking to get on the board here. He's got two stars to work with. That that Toadsworth hit picking up a star was huge. But he's saying, I want to save them all for Birdo if I get there. But you got to get oh! there first. And Colin once again locks down in a tough position, gets through it. Birdo gonna lead off, but still, no runs across for Jason. He's had runners in scoring position for probably four at bats, maybe five at bats even. Yeah, so. just not being able to convert, unfortunately. Man, I mean, still 0-0, zero, zero, uh, not a lot of offense until this hit, perhaps. No, sir! 
sir. There we go. No, sir, Luigi said. Give me that ball. Clutching Incredible. up there, and then a nasty hit into the corner for Boo. That's going to be a one-out double there. Really nice wall jump, though. Uh, KB, the hardest character to wall jump, sure. Luigi, probably the hardest character to wall jump with since he's a skinny lad. But, you know, Jason puts it together. Beautiful hit, but he's going to uh. have to get to this one, and that's going to be off the wall. I I know he probably couldn't dive for it, but it almost that felt was... like a different route might have gotten the ball. That's a tough play Possibly. to make. Uh, I'm not sure if he could have done anything about it. Yeah, but the offense has truly woken up. Yeah. Colin busting this one open with the first run of the yeah. game. And you know what? Another runner in that scoring position. Great hit from Dixie Kong. Could push him all the way home if he she puts it down the left field line. Yeah, and Collins looked pretty nice with Dixie Kong. Uh, I think he, he had two or three hits with her last game, but unfortunately going to strike out here. But... So far, back-to-back -back doubles in the second inning gives Colin a 1-0 lead, looking to make it more, and that is not going to score Wario. Yeah, He's going to hold up. If, if you put it to the left, maybe Wario scores. I don't know. It's probably the same. Uh, well, he doesn't have laser on the left side. However, he Real. does have... Uh, no, actually, Colin is KB, so he doesn't have the chemistry either. So. Okay. He's got four stars to work with here. Man in scoring, you know he's going to try to fire one off. Absolutely. Jason can't throw balls forever, and you'd much rather pitch to Paratroopa Woo! than Donkey Kong, and he's going to get the out with Magikoopa. Incredible fielding. Yeah, good stuff from Beautiful. Madge there. Keeping... Magikoopa walks away with it like it, yeah. it was nothing. No. Routine. That's that's just another day on the job for Magikoopa, and that is another egg on the job for Birdo. That's going to be a double yeah, right leading off the corner, off baby. The inning here. So now we got Petey Piranha up, I believe. Yep. If I had to guess, and I would have guessed correctly. Great job. Thanks, man. It's not like the little portrait was there, and that's the easiest walk ever, you know? Set up a double play ball. Luigi's not scoring Triple two Triple play, runs. even. <laughs> oh, Jason. Lay down a bun. I'm begging you. He, he's tried to bun a lot with Luigi, but this time around, I'm going to say, I'll just go for slappy singles. That's going to load the bases. Jason looking to convert this time around. Base is full for Pianta. Let's see if he's charging. If he's bunting, he is charging, and that's going to be in the air. Will it get the job done? Paratroop with a strong arm and the laser connection. He goes oh right goodness. home, but this game is tied. Yeah, I actually, I think I agree with going home there on that one. Uh, you have the chemistry. Paratroop with a strong arm, quick release. Not not a bad choice. Yeah, it was good. I don't know if DK would have gotten it. Yeah. I think if I'm in that situation, I'm laying down the bunt instead of going for the sack fly because I want all my runners moving. Yeah, that's a great point. However, but, um, you know, the bunt could lead to bad things if we got a bad pop up, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. You can pop yeah. up a bunt, get double played really easily, even triple played, maybe something like that. True. Um, or, you know, even just sometimes the bunt with the bases loaded it's just such a good hit. isn't good enough and it ends up uh, still, still allowing the force out at home. Absolutely. So you never know. All but right, now, listen, Jason, base is loaded. He's got one star in the chamber, Beautiful. but a perfect Toadsworth hit is going to score another run. Now we got some anti chemistry oh, going Jesus home to Bowser. Christ. Jason taking a lead in this game. I can't speak for game one since I didn't see it, but game two, uh, Jason did not lead at all. And that's going to be a walked in oh, run bringing up Magic I know Colin, man. He's a competitor and he is not happy about that one. Not many yeah. would be, but, uh, you know. The psychic damage could be severe. If Magic gets on here, okay. not going to, fortunately for Colin, uh, that would have been huge because Birdo would have been up. Obviously, Jason not going to use the star with Birdo Absolutely. on deck, but a three-run third inning puts Jason on top in this game. However, top of the lineup here for Colin, and he's going to lead it off with a beautiful DK hit. Pretty much the best DK hit you could ask for in a position like that. Bowser at the dish. Yeah, absolutely. People get pretty demoralized sometimes. Jesus Christ, we're, Jason. we're going for it, man. Okay. People get a little demoralized sometimes when they accidentally walk in a run. I know it's upsetting to me, but, you know, Colin says, no, dude, we got a lot of baseball left, baby, and that is going to be a perfect two-run dinger from Hammer, bro. Putting that one right past the scoreboard, right past the palm tree, all the way into Noki Bay. Incredible. 3-3-3 three, three, three on the board. If that's your lucky number, you are salivating. Yeah, absolutely locked in Because that's in what there. I do when I get excited. You just drip from the mouth? It, it, often. Wow. St. Bernard levels. Yoshi. Oh, Jesus. Uh, he didn't All right, to. Boo with, uh, with Error you know, double. a textbook double there. Yeah. I've seen that before. <laughs> Did you know that that's actually not considered an error? Or in Mario probably baseball? wouldn't be in real baseball, at least. Why? Uh, because... Oh, jeez. Okay. No, Wario uh, just not enough power to get it out. If a play is deemed, like, really hard to make, and the fielder tries but, like, misplays it, they don't call it an error because it was a hard play. That's a hard play. Who's the judge of a hard play? The umpires. Uh, that, actually, 
they're, they're people that do the official scoring for games that aren't the umpires. Like, That's they watch cool. the games and they say, was that a hit or an error, basically? Yeah. They go, woo, that one was, that was tough. That I, was, I don't that know was, if I would have gotten that yeah. one. <laughs> the fucking 60-year-old man, the <laughs> yeah. biggest pot belly ever. Dude, some guy, like, tries runs, makes a diving play, completely messes up. He's like, should have had that one. That's yeah. tough. Ooh, nice Dude, I would love, like, an exper like, a controlled experiment field where they like see the play try to recreate it as much as possible <laughs> yeah no wouldn't have gotten that one i think i think we can give them the hit it takes like a week and a half to decide it <laughs> they, all, that's they, they change it too sometimes like they'll rule in an error off the bat and they're like nah it was a hit and they, they do it like after the game sometimes that's yeah. tough for the scorecard man yeah did but. you know that you can't get an error if you don't touch the ball really yeah if you like if you totally run so past the ball and just don't touch it, yeah, that exactly. If you're doing like one of these, can't find the ball, it lands next to you. Not an error. You didn't so touch it. So it's not an error when it drops behind someone in the circle. No, that's oh, so funny. Uh, I mean, yeah, technically no. So yeah, it's not scored as an error. Yeah, so, I mean, maybe okay. in this game. I mean, no, it wouldn't be in this game. Uh, but the Yoshi one probably would be. Right, but yeah, weird that, baseball stuff. Yeah, that's gonna wrap up the inning. Moving to the top of the fifth, Jason. Ooh. Uh, looking to mount an offense here, and you know what? He's got some decent batters to do it. Diddy Kong looking a little piddly. Uh, swinging at a tough one. <laughs> that, uh, that was a real piddler maneuver. Yeah. That was, uh... What, what's the... It's there. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of the word, uh... Piddler League? Is that oh, is something we've oh, said before? Dribbler League? Dribbler League. league. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, some, that's some Dribble League baseball right there. <laughs> <laughs> DLB. Oh, I think that no. for to spice up baseball a little bit, in between the pitcher and the the batter, there should be a trampoline that sometimes you could bounce the ball off of. <laughs> like like right in front of home plate, because like sometimes they throw pitches that land right in front of the plate, like on purpose. I'm saying like halfway. That would be awesome. Like <laughs> so, so like if the batter hits the ball and it bounces off the trampoline, is it still like like is that considered a ground ball or is that still like in the air for a fly ball? You know what I mean? Totally. Uh, I think it's got to be a fly ball. Because you hit the trampoline. Yeah. Because, well, if, if you can throw the pitch off of it, I think it should also be a fly ball. Because if, if the ball hits the ground, like. Yeah, no. That's it's pretty it, much got to be right. a Right. Yeah, no, I. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think you're right. How, yeah. how would this change the game? <laughs> Probably uh, not much. Picture this. <laughs> have, have you seen that? Someone made a freaking TikTok. That's a Yoshi. They described uh, baseball. But if during the baseball game they released a hamster on the field, and like yeah. you would just play regular baseball, but you have someone designated to find the hamster, and whoever finds the hamster first, just the game stops and you automatically win. And they were like, they were like, well, yeah, and that's why J.K. Rowling's shit yeah. at world building because that's Quidditch. That's Quidditch. Yeah. I why saw are you that. playing the rest of the game? Why don't you find the golden snitch, uh, dumbass? Teams teams invest heavily in the uh, in the hamster catcher. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for a fucking record contract yeah. of one billion dollars, yeah. <laughs> Aaron Rodriguez, A Rod, <laughs> will be Alex Rodriguez. Whatever. Oh man. my God. Aaron Rodgers. That's a football player, but we'll go. That's with great. It. I'm doing good. I'm doing better than yeah. I thought I would be. Yeah. For sports. Um. Yeah. You know what? You name. You said A Rod. That's great. Aaron Rodgers is a real guy. That's pretty good. You could call him A Rod. A Rog. You could, you could, I actually don't know if he has a D in his name. It might just be R O J R O G. A Rog. A, a Rog. Like a Rog's it. pretty good. I like it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, he's he just got hired on to the the Yankees. Yeah, the One billion dollar contract, the biggest in baseball history. You've never seen a hamster catcher like this before. <laughs> he's a He's got the nose for it. Yeah. He's nose. got he's got tracking skills. He picks up the shit off the ground and tastes it. He's like, mm. yeah. He couldn't have gone more than thirty paces due west. Yeah, he actually hasn't missed a hamster in over 30 games. <laughs> it's really impressive, honestly. The Yankees yeah. have actually unloaded their entire team. They've got... <laughs> There's no players. Got, they're they've just got, a pitcher. They have nine high school baseball players out there, and they're paying them all $4. But Aaron, Aaron Rodgers out there, excellent hamster catcher. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. What if you've literally had, like, T-ball players and then just, like, Derek Jeter? <laughs> But Derek Jeter wasn't playing. He was just looking for a hamster. Oh, that's Quidditch awesome. is awesome, man. So, ooh, that's <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wario, enough. heartbreak after heartbreak. Luigi with a weirdo oh, weird jump. jump. 
Looking so, good. Colin, I think that's the wall thing. You go Colin, up against the wall. the Bowser team, right? Yeah. Uh, he was up five stars to zero leading into this inning. Jason mm -hmm. picked up two, which is great for him. But five stars while you're the Bowser team, while you're the home team, while the game is tied, that's a pretty good position to be in. Absolutely. 1,000%. I totally agree with you. Uh, but you know what? Being Jason is a really good position to be in as well because you're Jason. True. You're very good at the game. You're a great pitcher, and your offense has improved every day since we started making fun of you about it. That's so true. I mean, yeah, maybe not every day, but but especially recently. And he throws the fourth ball, gets him swinging. That's We're going to see tough, the, the top of the lineup coming up in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah. But Jason here, Petey. Into Luigi, into PM. Yeah, very conservative amount of hits this game as well. Eight to seven. Lead off walk for Petey Piranha. I don't hate it. You know, game's tied. Luigi's got to do a lot more work than Petey does to get him across. Yeah, absolutely. I don't hate it. I don't hate this. No, me neither. Oh, and, and that's going to be a nice little dribbler down the left field line. Wow. Dribbler league. The, listen, the work has started. and uh, Give it to us. It just continues with Pianta. Give it to us. P. <laughs> M. Uh, I don't trust PM with my life, man. But I you do. know what? We're going to need him to uh, dink one out real good here. Yeah, Down 1-2 <laughs> currently. Hey, Pianta, we're going to need you to go ahead and hit a home run here, if you don't mind. Just uh, What about my hamster contract? He would be the worst hamster oh catcher my in the God, world, dude. bro. Absolutely. That one's coming inside, and that's going to be a strikeout. Yeah. Great pitching from Colin, man. That guy is that guy's hamster catching for the Iowa City Corn Dogs. Like that is <laughs> that is rough. Dude, you got two stars here. You're thinking about using them, but maybe uh, considering against. You got some other guys who might prefer them coming up. But you know, this is the first time you had runners in scoring for a little while. True. Um, yeah, this is the game that Jason. Uh, Obviously, he yeah, led off. That's not catch, landing. Yeah. He led off the game with uh, with a strong. Uh, I think he scored in the third. He he led off the game with bases loaded, didn't score. Yep. And then again, I think he may have loaded the bases and not scored in the second inning as well. Third inning finally got some runs across, but Colin has uh, sliced into that lead and cut it down to a fat goose egg. That's a zero <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know what that means. Why do they choose goose egg? You know, who wants to eat a goose egg? It's <laughs> a great point. Not I don't really. know why I even asked. Oh, he's milking him. <laughs> Speaking of goose egg. Damn, that guy's getting milked on the, on the, <laughs> on the, on the, at the plate. This is insane. Uh, and for a, a record total of $30 million, we've just signed Diddy Kong on as our local milker. Yeah, he's actually not on the team. He's just... He's just, he sits he on the stage the and yeah, he, he milks the cow for yeah. uh, refreshments for the team. Yeah, every baseball team now also only drinks milk from a cow. It's so gross. Oh, uh, Donkey is that Kong. Land? Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a, yeah, I was going to say, that's a double. Bowser oh, definitely is. Probably getting walked here anyway, but why not? Look, pad the stat. As Bowser's getting uh, walked, I have a question for you. Who do you think would be the best hamster catcher in Mario Baseball? Best hamster catcher in Mario Baseball. Yoshi, I mean, it's there's no question. Well, he's fast, but does he have good tracking skills? Birdo does have a vacuum. Uh, Yoshi's faster. He's got, like, the frog-like tongue. Yeah, and he's got hammer, bro, with a hammer. Colin really looking to put this one over, man. Also, Hoping for no low tragedy. Double play is looking rough tough here. Pitch. Let's see what we can do. He's going to put it the other way. Yeah. All right, listen. Yet another opportunity to hit a dinga donga. Also, King Boo is very capable. Yoshi's a he's a, he's an omnivore, so he's uh, a bit of an omnivore. That's so, right. So we don't know what Birdo eats, but we do know. Uh oh! We do know that that one's crushed. not over the wall. It's gonna oh, hit it though. No. And he, we are diving into the wall. That's gonna be two runs coming across, giving Colin. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Get control. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Best case scenario for Colin. We're gonna score the run. Leave the guy on second base. Taking a lead at the bottom of the seven, late three, in the two, five. Wow. We've got Boo up. Perfect hit right to Magikoopa's wand. Skates on him and jumps. Yeah, Jason trying to go for the dash jump where you, like, stop dashing and you jump. Probably only a couple frames off of getting his jump, and unfortunately he did might not have, make the play. Gave up two runs. A couple frames off of going to game four. Yeah. Man, I mean, baseball is a game of inches, as they say. They do say that. But uh, Jason's got a seven-mile stare right now as he's trying <laughs> to figure out a way to put this one back together. Oh, no. And the most consistent guy in the team, unfortunately, hitting that ball directly into the ground. DK yeah. Fields. Here's the top of the lineup. So, assuming Madge gets on here, you're in a decent spot with Birdo PD. But, you know. And you know okay, what? you can't assume anything, right? 
So, so we're gonna lead off. Jason, though, still in a decent spot. Obviously, you're not in a good spot if you're losing. But bottom of the lineup here for Colin. Get through this, and then you're starting off with Birdo into Petey. So, it's it's far from over. That's you know, I I could see uh, an egg into a blast, and that's a that's a tie ball game. One thousand. Actually, Petey probably just gets walked. You, you walk Petey, <laughs> but you know what? You got reliable hitters after Absolutely. him for sure. Yeah, so, so two on, no outs. That's a great scenario. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. I can't. We're still here in the bottom of the eighth. But <laughs> Diddy Kong making a spectacular play, looking like Greg Maddox up there. Yeah, put and, down uh, the milk for two seconds and uh, decided to catch that ball. Congratulations, Diddy Kong. Waluigi Ooh. not going to make that play, man. He's big, but not that big. That's tough, too, because while Jason, obviously, like two stars, that's that's good enough for a Birdo at bat. You know, you get two, you get two solid swings out of that. You would love to have the third one. Let's of keep course, Colin off of it of so he doesn't have the luxury of just dropping a star here. Um, but that's not the world we live in. Waluigi, second base, not coming through in the clutch there. Let's see if Jason can. Oh, my God. That ball pulled into the corner. Yeah. Luigi cuts it off. Mario going to three. He will get in there safely. PD Piranha coming what, way off first base, I think. Yeah, listen, this could be your last opportunity to use stars. Yeah, I totally yep. agree with that. And that's yep. a beautiful star uh -oh. hit into the gap. That's One so run good. Will score. It's second and third. Bowser is up. I think we're about to see bases loaded for bro. I mean, Yeah, whew. Colin. Oh, I are sorry, Jason. I, I heard the walk already, yeah. man. Colin I, looking. Hey, this just in on my earpiece. Colin has uh, successfully put Ace Hardware into his GPS. He is looking for the nail here. And that and is it! it. Late. Oh my goodness, brother! Jason! He doesn't have a climb. He's gotta build the fucking ladder, dude. And Colin's inning is not over! Oh my goodness. He is down three to ten with three outs left. He's gotta sink this one in. It's a clear and sell at Jester's hardware, man. Fans are reeling, and we are pitching the menace. Clearance at Ace Hardware, four for one special on the nails. And the, the inning is still going, ladies and gentlemen. The inning is still going. Tyler makes his presence known to me by laughing. I did not hear, I didn't know he was still here until just now. All right. Tildra's gonna wrap this inning up. Listen, Jesus. Jason's an incredible player, man, but this is a tall order, oh, but yeah. he's a tall glass. Yeah. Let's see what he can do. That's a, that's a, that's a great way of putting it, man. <laughs> if there's one thing I know how to do, it's put it. Oh Jesus! All right, wow, this is this is unprecedented, man. Do we have? Gonna burn through both we, our stars. we haven't seen a 3-0 ever. No, I don't think that's true. But you know what? Listen, let's not call. It, we I'm not the type of guy to call it, man. I, I, we're, there's still plenty of time, and you know what? Are you calling Jason's, it? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. But 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 Colin's got Jason hanging what from the doing? rafters. Gonna walk Peter Why? Piranha, yeah, dude. Just in case. Just in case what? Just in case. Listen, Colin. Colin's <laughs> seven run <laughs> yeah. homer with the. Yeah, super he really bases. gets a hold of one. It comes around, <laughs> goes into orbit, <laughs> circles the Earth seven times, and we're like, I don't know. I saw it go over the fence seven times. Yeah, that's, that's, that's seven. That's huge. Dude, the, you never know when the rogue ion's gonna strike, and you know what? That's already the rogue ion. that's already two outs from uh, not even putting the ball in play. Pink Menace is up, man. He's been the X factor this whole game. Let's see if he could keep this inning going. Jesus, man. Colin. Jason needs something pretty. Colin. He needs something pretty. Out of nowhere, that's a blue. Pops one what up. Do we have? Bro gets under it, and, and that is the game. Ladies and gentlemen, a massive 3-0 upset. Colin, the big kahuna, is going to move on to the semi-finals, knocking the first seed, JK Minecraft Jester, out of the playoffs bracket in the quarterfinals. <laughs> right, so. This is Jason's worst performance since season six. Ever, probably. I, I, I think. cannot believe that just happened, to be honest. That I was, was incredible. I was confident going into this. Incredible. I, I did my homework. We're going to get, let's get you but, in here. Yeah, let's get also, him in here. partial blame on me. Me and Jason were up till 4.30 in the morning playing <laughs> Minecraft last night. And he had work at like nine. Dude, is it a John, a Joe, or a Jason? Am I right? <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, let's get, get the boys in, in here. here. Congratulations, Colin. That was an incredible performance from what I saw, at least. All right, well, uh, I mean, that's the game. 3-0, it's pretty pretty good, pretty convincing, I'd say. Uh, that first game, I'll kind of speak on, on how I felt about this set. The first game, I mean, I feel like I should have won, you know, that Yoshi bobble into the clamber to prevent me from getting the out. Really hurt me, gave you the go-ahead runs. Um, and then I had the Toadsworth opportunity, man, that that didn't land. And I think uh, since then, I was just kind of like shaking up a little bit. I don't know. My hitting was not here. 
Um, I had you I chasing know. a lot. I was chasing so much, which I haven't done in a long time. I, I partially probably because I'm tired, but also, I mean, your Dixie pitches were very good. You were, you were hitting corners nicely. Um, yeah, I mean, tough game, tough break for me, but... I'm sure you're pretty hyped. <laughs> I, I, I definitely agree. You, I feel like you outplayed me the first game. Um, you had me rattled, too, after the first game, even though I, I had won. It was by the skin of my teeth. Mm. And I think that draft, that first draft, went about as well as it possibly could have for me. Mm -hmm. So I was sitting here like, damn, with my best draft that I feel like I could have gotten. You're still, yeah, he helped I, me to like, a one-run game. You had like four or five hitters that were eggs. That went yeah, over, but, I had four but Dixie with Dixie was zero. going crazy for you. Um, I think uh, game two, I took Boo earlier than I wanted to because my Boo game one was not there. Um, so I think that kind of hurt me a little bit. Uh, but I mean, overall, the second game was close until uh, I pitched Bowser. It <laughs> wasn't, yeah. but... Uh, it was, yeah. uh, some some pitching mistakes. I mean, man, it adds up. You played great. I mean, I mean, I don't feel too bad going out in quarters considering I, you know, called out five seed as the one seed, right? Um, but it happens. I'm, I'm I'm glad. And this is actually the reason that I picked you, is that either I get to advance or you get to advance. Which if I'm gonna lose to anybody, uh, I'd be happy that it was the big you. Kahuna, right? The big Kahuna. Yeah, I mean, I definitely did my prep work and I came into this confident because I, I looked back on all of our games that we had played, starting back from the first time we played against each other at Meetup. I was like, this guy mercyed me, I think three oh, times dude. or twice before I ever even held him. That's and I have never beaten you in a, in a real game. Mike, please go back to me versus Dennis quarterfinals. When I swept him... And I said, I studied every game I've played against you. And you and know it works, what? man. I I knew that our, our game on camera was the closest I ever came. It was very and close, yeah. I lost that game to a KB Grand Slam. Yeah. And I thought, so that's why I was confident coming into this after studying the tapes, um, working out draft lines mm -hmm. against you. to to Because I, I know you don't like to choose Boo. I know yeah, you love you're, uh, I know you love KB, I know you love Walu. This was the least op this last game was my least optimal draft. Mm -hmm. But I mean it worked out. I, I worked out. didn't think it would be a 3 0. I think it, I thought if I won, it would be either a 3 2 series or a 3 1 series. I, I wasn't expecting this. I'm on top of the world, but I still have I mean I still have two more series to go. So I gotta you gotta go. You, know, you gotta go all the way for stay me. Focused. Absolutely, yeah. We must stay focused, brothers. Yeah, no, I mean, you did your homework well. You drafted very well against me. You counter-drafted me nicely. I think it's probably my biggest weakness as a player is that my draft is exploitable because, I mean, you just do that, and then what am I going to do? Pick Bowser? No, I don't like that guy. Um, but, I mean, you know, it's a great series. I had fun. Uh, I'm glad Pianta got to step on the mound. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, shout out Evil Walrus. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, great stuff, man. GGs. GGs. I hope you uh, crush it in uh, semis. I'm going to go all the way for you. You better, Big Kahuna. <laughs> and with that, guys, Dinger, Dinger City, City out. out.